reflecting on our seven year anniversary, not dating by the way, but actually moving from the DMV area, DC, Maryland, Virginia, down to good old Miami. DMV to MIA. Stand up. <laughs> Let's talk about it. That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just cut that part out. Time flies when you're having fun. And yes. honestly, it's crazy to think that it's been seven years that we've been down here in Miami. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it flew by so fast. I mean, a lot has happened in the past seven years, which... It's been beautiful to reflect back on and see our growth, um, just to see all of the changes. But, you know, moving down here from 2016 until now, it being 2023, it feels like just yesterday when we were little young bucks. I know. 26 so, and what, yeah. 27 when we first moved down no, here? No, I was 26. You were 25. Oh, yeah, I was 25. Yeah, I was 25. So we were in our mid-20s when mm -hmm. we first moved down here, and now we are in our early 30s early 30s mm -hmm. and it's pretty crazy i mean there's been a lot of growth a lot of maturity through that time mm -hmm. individually and together as a couple and i just feel like you know as time has gone on our relationship has gotten stronger too yes for sure and um i just think about like that time when we were living in baltimore and it was 2016 and we were we got the news that we we're going to move down to miami mm -hmm. and being so excited for it, but then also a little nervous and a little bit apprehensive because it's like, man, like we didn't know the toll that it would take on our relationship yeah. because I mean, you know, we were going into this. The only time we had ever visited Miami was going to South Beach. Like that was right. the only thing that we knew. And we just knew like of all the crazy things. So, of course, we were thinking like, OK, well, is this going to have an effect on our relationship? And, you know, you had just recently proposed literally two days two before. days before and so i didn't want the craziness that you hear of miami which of course like everyone knows if you know miami you think party you think this right. you think that um but there's more sides to miami than just that and so we were a little apprehensive as well because we didn't know but i think that over time it has shown a testament to our relationship yeah and, you know, we like you said that we've been stronger and, and better than ever, which is a blessing because yeah. not many people are afforded that opportunity when relocating to a new city. Exactly. And everything that you touched on is what I was going to say. Like we hear all the stories about Miami and obviously we've been down here several times before 2016 mm -hmm. and it was always for vacation. It was always for fun. Turn up. Have a good yeah. time. Um, but now it's like, it's different when you're living here. You're not in yeah. vacation mood. It's like, you got work on Monday. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just, well, we've been married for almost four years now, but you know, you're trying to plan a wedding right. and now we have a dog and you have a baby on the way. Exactly. So it's, it so looks very different. It looks very different, but I can happily and proudly say that, you know, we've been committed to each other this entire time, mm -hmm. uh, living here in Miami through the seven years. And each year of the relationship we have gone we have grown stronger yeah and mm -hmm. even in 2016 our relationship was good but it's even better now in 2023 yeah. and i think that's the most beautiful thing about marriage and about relationships that yeah. grow and are committed to each other mm -hmm. because at the end of the day that's what it's about it's about the growth individually and together and as together. collectively and weathering the storms of any storms that do come and realizing like hey like we're in this together yeah and despite miami being a crazy city and all the distractions that mm -hmm. come with you know living in miami yeah being focused on each other right and i think we have done a great job of that right and it's grown every single year of course i i i agree with you and it definitely has and i'm i'm grateful and blessed that it has grown every year because they're could have been times where it could have gone the other way, especially with dealing with the pandemic and not I being know. around family we, and things like that. Like we, we've we've experienced a lot in these seven years. And as you were talking, it just made me smile because 
just thinking about when we were 25 and 26 when we first moved here i mean we hit the streets we had fun oh we hit the streets we were <laughs> we up in Wildwood. We, we were everywhere in, we were know. in south beach we were in sunny isles we were in hollywood fort lauderdale Brickle, miami downtown. downtown i mean i mean everywhere we, we were having fun yeah um, so but you know, we, we had a good time. We had a good time. But it, it's just, it's, it's to me, people always say like, okay, well, Miami is just this party city. And it absolutely is. But there absolutely. is. Absolutely. It absolutely <laughs> is. Um, but I think that, like you said, there yeah. are distractions. But there's only distractions if you allow there to be distractions. There is so much more to Miami than just party. Yes, if you want that and you want to be a part of that lifestyle and that culture, then absolutely you're, you you're going to find it. Then you can have that. But if you want something that's going to be, that's going to allow you to be more focused on a certain activity or your career or family or relationship, or relationship you know, or faith, like there are other avenues out there and there's so many different like community yeah. groups and things like that that you can be a part of to immerse yourself and stuff outside of just like partying amen and so um it, it just made me smile because when i look back at us at 25 and then what we you know how we were going out every weekend and what we were doing then versus like how our life looks now it's not to say that those things were bad it's just that it's so different it's a it's a contrast yeah. and it also goes to show that it's about what you make of it. It's about what you want to get mm -hmm. from whatever city you're in. Exactly. And, we just, and, that's, we, and that's what we wanted. We yeah. wanted when we were 25, 26. It was like, OK, we live in Miami. Let's take full advantage. Yeah, Let's have we're fun. Let's out. go out. Let's go to the clubs. Let's do this. Let's and do that's that. what we and did. We did that in the early 20s and, and late 20s as well. And then as we approach the 30s and we're getting older, you know, our priorities change and exactly. we're starting to look at life differently. Yeah. And I think we have transitioned well and i we both have transitioned yeah to you know and, and it's not to say that we d don't still like to ha go out oh, and no. maybe you know you know have a date night or have a drink with friends or this or that well i'm not doing any drinking any <laughs> no drinking anytime <laughs> not, soon not right now not right now but <laughs> just in general you know if we wanted to be like oh let's have a drink with a friend or this or that it's not that we're just like complete homebodies we still oh, like no. to enjoy ourselves and be social and things like that but it's just about balance it's and all I think about that balance and i think we have just over time have both transitioned together into more mature people yeah and we have did all the the, the fun crazy stuff like when we were 25 26 when we first moved down here and now we're preparing for a new chapter of life exactly and, and like what we're preparing for now is the birth of our son yeah and it's crazy to think i mean we would have never thought we were gonna even experience something like this yeah at 25 26 no we didn't have plans to have kids but this was god's plan and we're, we're what we're doing now is direction that god wants us to take and we're exactly. and we're so excited for it mm -hmm. we're excited for this new chapter and it's just amazing to see the growth individually yes. together and what this new chapter will bring in our yeah. lives. Yeah, and I mean, I think for me, it's nice. Uh, I, I agree with you, and it's, it's just been amazing to see the growth, more importantly. And all I, I always say this, I'm just like, growth is a beautiful thing because I'm glad to not be the same person that I was when I was 25 when we first moved here right. and vice versa. You right. know, like, I'm sure you probably think the same way, and it's not just individually like you said is also about our relationship how our relationship has grown um how, you know we're married now we're going into celebrating four four years in november i know we have a baby on the way we have a dog i think we've experienced a lot of highs and lows throughout these seven years and when i say lows i'm not even saying like i mean everyone we're human you know everyone experiences lows throughout the course of anywhere they live. But when I think of low, I'm thinking of like the pandemic and right. stuff like that. You know what I mean? But yeah. um, overall, our experience here in Miami has been filled with more highs than lows. And it's just amazing to see how God has transformed us right. over these past seven years. And it's a blessing to be able to say that, you know, we're not the same people we used to be when we were 25 years old, seven right. years ago, just moving here. But the city has been good to us. Right. You know, I'm very fortunate that Miami has mm. been good to us in a place that we've called home for 
seven years. Um, very different from being back in the DMV. It sure, it sure is. <laughs> but know, this is this is what we wanted. This too. is what like, we wanted. We, we wanted were to excited change. to move yeah. down here to Miami. Of course, and we still share that excitement seven mm-hmm. years later, even with having a baby. And you know, there's different. Like, we're thinking of of life differently now. Yeah. And, you know, there is more of a possibility, more than ever before, that we are considering moving back up to Maryland just because that's where family is at. Yeah. And, you know, setting roots there with our child, Mm -hmm. maybe in the future before school age comes. Mm -hmm. But we truly have enjoyed these seven years here in Miami. And, and like, when you were talking, like, one final note that I really want to make is that how does seven years work? How, Mm -hmm. How do you pick up? move your life and go to a a completely different environment where you don't have any family or friends starting out. How are you able to make that work Mm -hmm. over seven years? And when I think about that, I think it's truly staying committed to each other. Right. I think it's really putting in the work to realize that the focus needs to be on your relationship, Mm -hmm. on your marriage and the love that you share between each other. And making sure that's at the forefront of everything along with your faith your faith in god and your faith in each other Mm -hmm. and making sure that you have those things really can can elevate you in any city and and definitely here in miami like we have said it can be a very uh, easy place to get distracted and Mm -hmm. and fall into some of the things that make a relationship hard for it to last but we have stayed away from all that and we focused on each other yeah yep we sure have And with that said, I think it would be fun to just since we're talking about seven years and recapping being here for seven years. What is one of your happiest moments living here over the past seven years? Just Uh, one because we all we we got some good ones. But what's one of your happiest moments? Oh, the happiest day of my life. And I hope that of your life too. our wedding negative side <laughs> <laughs> yeah i would say that is my happiest moment yeah um you know f- truly finally making it official yeah at that point we had been together for nine years together mm-hmm. and you know we took our sweet time and for us to have that gratifying moment mm-hmm. and that gra- gratifying day it's something i'll never forget and not to mention i mean we just had a blast it was a great yeah, time it was a we great danced time. the whole night away oh we had a good time um and it was just beautiful. And then we went on the honeymoon the very next day for two weeks, six different cities. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. Um, it's so hard because I'm torn between two. Six different countries, my bad. Yeah, six different countries. I said cities. <laughs> and I, I didn't even miss a beat. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm torn because I have two. And, of course, the wedding is one of, my, like, the best moments being here, of course. But then I also like the gender reveal was so mm. amazing. And the look on your face when you realized that we were having a boy. Like that moment was so special because I knew how much it meant to you to want to have a boy. Mm-hmm. And so our reactions were just so priceless that that moment is something that I will always cherish. And it'll be a very happy moment, especially coming from someone who, you know, didn't necessarily want kids. And we had the conversation. We both were on the same page with that. But obviously God had other plans for us. And we have our baby boy coming in the next few days. Yeah, literally in a week. <laughs> in the next few days. And um, our lives have transformed over these past, you know, nine some odd um, months. So the gender reveal was definitely something that was amazing. Um, but the wedding for sure was and- one of the happiest moments and being able to have all of our family and friends fly in and and celebrate with us was was amazing and you know just so the growth so i would say uh, as much as i'm torn I, i'm gonna go with the the wed- our wedding day too yeah and then right below right below our wedding day is the the gender reveal and finding out we were having a boy yeah um so that's what life is about mm-hmm. that's what relationship growth is about it's about sharing those memories, mm-hmm. sharing those experiences together mm-hmm. that ultimately continue to build that foundation of trust, honesty, happiness, yeah. fulfillment within each yeah. other and, and individually. And yeah. and we've been able to share plenty of those moments and plenty of those experiences. And, you know, 
it's still just getting started. Just getting started. So that's kind of what we wanted to wrap up. Journey wanted to be involved in the last no, minute Lipa of the video. wanted to join us. So, and we got a dog in yes. down here in Miami. Like there's been so many growth opportunities and so many things that have changed in our time here from 26 mm -hmm. to 33. And <laughs> two for me, thir 32 for her, 33 <laughs> for me. Uh, it, that's the most beautiful thing about yeah. it. And like we said, it's still just getting started because yeah. we've got another 18 <laughs> years of adolescent years of growing this little baby boy yeah. inside. So we just look forward to what we've created so far yes. and what's coming in the future. Amen to that. So. With that said, come on down to Miami. <laughs> yeah, so we, hope, we hope you enjoyed this recap video. I hope we hope that um, it allowed you to kind of get to know us and our story a little bit better. Just being down here in Miami, if you don't know us already or have followed our journey. And maybe this will encourage you, like he said, to come on down to South Florida. Like, give it a try. Hey, it's, it's a beautiful place and we've loved it. So yes. we're going to sign off for today. My name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is the Yambors. And remember, find joy in the journey. Bye. So conversations like this, I think, are super important because as new parents, we have to really evaluate ourselves and us as a couple.